Hey y'all, how you doing? It's Crystal from Crystal's Beautiful Chaos. Don't mind my hair. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you choose to stick around. And if you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Sorry, I don't know why I need to catch my breath, but I do. It was the day before St. Patty's Day, so 316. I don't know what day you'll see this. I have several hauls to do, so I'll probably be in the same stuff. Um... Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, a like, comment, all that good stuff. It helps out my channel. It should not be in here. I have a Dollar Tree haul. So let's just jump into it now. Boring stuff. Like, I don't know what's all in here. Honestly, it's been here for a couple weeks. So I apologize for that. But life is had. Oh, update. Mr. Ronan William Dominguez has been born. He was born on the 12th, late at night. Um, Mom and baby are doing good. He was 7 pounds, 4 ounces, 20 inches long. Mom had to get a C-section, though, because her body was not cooperating, and then the baby's umbilical cord was wrapped around his foot, causing his heart rate to drop. But he is doing fine. He's beautiful. He's perfect. Mom and Dad are not ready for the world to see him yet, so I'm not going to be sharing any pictures just yet of Ronan, but he is here, and he is magical and a gorgeous little boy. Okay, now let's get into the boring stuff. Um, I just picked up some AAA batteries, super heavy duty E circuit for low drain devices. I always pick these up. Always need some batteries. Picked up the Fisher Price wipies, 72 count for us grown ups in the bathroom. I uh, picked up these Easter DIY bunnies. You get 12 pieces. It's the bunnies with the little cotton tails, 12 pieces. I thought those were super cute. I've heard a lot of good things about these, so I picked them up. These are the candy-coated Tootsie Roll Eggs. Great for egg stuffing, peanut, and gluten-free. Picked up those. You get 3.5 ounces. Got some tissue paper for a project that I'm probably never going to get to this year. But you get 24 sheets of the pastel colors. So good for Easter or gifts. I picked up this Easter sign. I kept passing it up, but then something, just, I don't know why, just kept calling to me. So I ended up picking it up. And it is super cute. Carrots for the Easter bunny. Something about these colors together just does it for me. So I'll grab that. Picked up the cars. Detroit born. Whoop, whoop. That's where I'm originally from. Um, this was all, by the way, in case anybody asks, the Chippewa, Pennsylvania, Dollar Tree. That's the only one I usually hit every week because that's the one that's five minutes up the road for me. I don't have time to be driving 20, 30 minutes away to the other ones, so I just find what I find. And if I'm in the other areas, then I'll stop in those if I have time. If not, it is what it is. Anyhow. Detroit Born 1933 Cars, the American Trail Mix, Sweet and Salty, Peanuts, Raisins, Cocoa Candies, and Sunflower Kernels. Got one of those. Five ounces. And then I also got it in the Peanut Butter and Dark Chocolate. And you get four ounces in that one. With that. I picked up more of the Twix Cookie Dough Bites. I picked these up for Mark's portion of the Easter basket ready to eat. You get 3.1 ounces. I did grab him the Snickers ones um, while they were in the hospital this past, this week. Um, but he, he liked them, but he said they weren't his favorite. So we'll see if he likes these. I've got these rub on sticker. Rub, no, I, these are just stickers. Alphabet stickers and the gold for a project. Ten piece Crafter Square stickers. These are wood stickers, and I just thought they were cute because they're wood. First of all, secondly, they're just cute flowers, a butterfly, a little quote bubble that says "Hello," stuff like that. Picked up this pack of sandpaper. You get thirty six pieces. Two of the ten p eighty. No. Yeah. You get, what? I don't know. There's there's what's all in it. By the tool bench. I, it's probably not the greatest sandpaper, but it'll work for crafting. If 
how did I get to it? Oh, I love this way it's in here. Okay, I picked up some super heavy duty AA batteries. And I'm pretty sure I picked these up again today and the AAAs. But it's always good to have. With the kid toys and all that, you get eight. I picked up the super glue gel. I needed to fix something in my bath. It's just like, okay, the little bamboo lids on my containers that have Q-tips and cotton balls in it. The little bally part keeps coming out, so I'm going to super glue that together. They have these for 50 cents. I know I bought three of them, the other ones in here, but they're just butterflies. Wooden butterflies. 50 cents. So, 50 cents I grabbed. Them. I grabbed the 35 bag, 35 13 gallon bags in the vanilla scent. These just go in our bathroom garbage can. And we needed those. I picked up, there'll be another one in here somewhere. These new Mickey Mouse bottles. This is by Regent Baby. So these are for Ronin. I got this one. Oh, yeah. Hey. And then this one. And I think there's a third one in here for him as well. Picked up some little styrofoam eggs to hang on our pink Christmas tree that we have up still from Valentine's Day. It's like there's nothing on it, but we're just going to reuse it for Easter. Never got to decorate for St. Pete. St. Patrick's, St. Patty's Day, St. Patrick's Day, which is tomorrow, so this will be for next year. But it's just this garland, 25 feet. So, it's pretty. It's green and gold. I got this mushroom. I already pulled the tab out for Peyton's Easter basket. Look at how bright this is. Isn't that bright? And it's so cute. So, I grabbed that. I left the rubber ducky behind. I picked up two things of the Crafter Square ink pads. Because I have a lot of the the stamps, like those clear rubber stamps. But I didn't have the ink that goes with them. And they just released these at my Dollar Tree. So I grabbed two black ones. I found these mushrooms within the Fairy Garden figurines. So I just grabbed these because I thought they were cute. Two different styles. I got this, I only got Zamara one bottle because she really doesn't need any more bottles. But it was Minnie Mouse and she likes Minnie Mouse. So, it's just Minnie Mouse blowing bubbles. And she'll be able to use this now because she's already eating that much. We're Ronin. And she's born, so he, he's not ready for that stuff. Ah, here's another one of his bottles. I got Mickey Mouse. Okay. I got these headbands for Zamara. But I don't know if they're going to fit her big old head. She's got her Gigi's head, that's for sure. She just comes with a pink one and a white one. So hopefully they fit. If not, we'll just donate them. I also got her this really cute rainbow striped one. So this one seems bigger than the other two. So this might fit her. I picked up these napkins because I thought they were pretty. You get 14 of them. Spring Fling Collection. Picked up some Coralite Plastic Bandage. Bandage, you get 110 assorted size bandages. Lightweight, more absorbent, non-stick pad for gentle removal. So, we always need band-aids for something. Picked up this white paint by Prang, which is a name brand. Ready-to-use tempera paint. Washable. Hmm. I didn't notice that. It's eight ounces. So, grab that. I found... Well, I kind of want to wait. Oh, there it is. These new dog toys. I already gave Bella, which is Mark's dog, hers. I got these for Hooch, so it comes in the Reese's cup, and they're squeezy. The squeakers. The York Peppermint Patty. In the Hershey. So, one of each for Miss Hooch. Hoochie Mama. 
always got to get the animals something. I found the lollipops, which I'll probably end up putting these in the Easter baskets I make for, like, Mark and Sierra and Peyton. Now, Peyton read these for me, but I don't retain, I didn't retain anything, she said. And I am boring. Orange flavor with orange straw. It's got a sucker at the end of it with a hole in it. So the concept is you put this in whatever drink. Crazy pop straws. These are not the Greenbrier brand. These are the original gourmet food company. You put this down in your drink, and then this will dissolve in your drink to make it have a different, you know, multiple flavors. The blue one, which is blueberry flavor. We have a yellow one, which is cotton candy flavor, which I'm kind of surprised by that. Well, you would think a pink one would be cotton candy flavor. A little tag is coming off. Hang on. Hang on a moment. Okay. Cotton candy flavor with the yellow. And we have a pink one, which is tropical flavor. And then the red. So I got one of each, which is cherry. I'm trying to keep this organized to a point. I found... This spoon rest, and I ended up getting two. One for me, one for Mark and Sierra, so this will go in their Easter basket. It's by Vacuvin Utensil Rest. Keeps your countertop clean. It's like silicone. Designed in the Netherlands and made in China. Vacuvin. So, grab one of those. Picked up some assorted... Plastic silverware just to have for when we have company. Like if we're just doing meals. I should have brought this. To, well, Mark still had plastic silverware left over from the baby shower. Because we had family over at his house yesterday, the Friday the 15th. And I made four, a four pound meat loaf. Mashed potatoes and all that stuff. So, But anyway, it's 48 piece. So you get 16 of each. 16 spoons, 16 forks, 16 knives. So that'll go down in the kitchen. Here's that other spoon holder for them. I picked up a bunch of hair clips because Peyton's now into wearing hair clips. It's so funny how much she's changed since she's become a mom. Like, she never wore hair clips. She always had to have her hair and makeup done before leaving the house, be dressed a certain way. Now she's like, I don't even care. Hair's in a bun, hair's in a clip. I don't have time to put my face on. I'm wearing sweats and a t-shirt. I don't care. And she leaves the house. I told her that would happen. Anyway, so I got her some hair clips because she said she's been wanting more. Madison Tyler and this really pretty white iridescent. These are just the Greenbrier ones, doll clips. I'm like these brown marbleized and gray marbleized. And then this white iridescent, iridescent one. It's funny to me that says 14 and up. Like it's a hair clip. Okay. I found the Queen Wee soap, and I've actually already used some. I love this stuff. Amazing. So I bought four bars of it this time, and now there's going to be more in another haul. There's four more bars. It's in the Wildberry scent, 3.5 ounces. V bar cleansing bar, microbiome friendly and pH balance. Developed with gynecologists, free from parabens and soap. Smells so good. So, there's two of the four. I finally found the um, Spring Fling Garland of Tulips. I think I picked up two of these. So, I got this. There's the other one. Yep, yeah, there's the other one. I think it's cute. It's super cute. So, we got that. Here's another hair clip for Peyton. In the iridescent. White. picked up this Easter sign just because I thought it was cute. Happy Easter hop, every bunny, bunny crossing, egg hunts, baby chicks. It's a little, I could do without all the buffalo check, but what ifs. So there's that. Picked up these band-aids for Peyton just because she loves pine anything pineapples and Zamara is starting to follow suit. Peyton picked her, we were at Target the other day and, uh, 
there was this pineapple toy for her age. She'll be six months next week. Oh my god, I'm already next week. She'll be six months old next week. So it's pineapple and it comes with like a little slice of watermelon and a little flamingo and a sunshine. Oh, and a palm tree. But she loves that pineapple. Pineapple is about this big. It's plastic. It has a face and it sings songs and all that. She loves it. She, like, she uh, gravitates to yellow a lot. Anyhow, I digress. Pineapple Bandage by Bio Swiss. You get 21. 21. So, I just grabbed those. It's like a little gag gift to go in her basket. These I thought were neat because I usually have them in only like blue, orange, and red. It's the foam dice two-piece and they're just plain solid white. No, nothing on them. So, these are good for crafting with. Or like to make the foam marshmallows. I picked up some books. This one got me, and I'll tell you why in a second. This went for... $26 in the U.S., $35 in Canada. There's the prices right there. It's called Vox, a novel by Christina Delshore. Delshore. Delshare. This is what got me. Set in the United States in which half the population has been silenced, Vox is the harrowing, unforgettable story of what one woman will do to protect herself and her daughter. Enough said, right? So I didn't even read the rest of it. I just seen that and I was like, that's mine. On the day the government decrees that women are no longer allowed more than 100 words per day. I'm sorry, what? Excuse me? When I do this, I have a double chin. I don't appreciate that. Okay. Dr. Jean McKellen is in denial. This can't happen here. Not in America. Not to her. This is just the beginning. Soon women are not permitted to hold jobs. Girls are not taught to read or write. It sounds like, um the hell's the name of that show? The Handmaid's Tale. Mm. Females no longer have a voice. Before, the average person spoke 16,000 words each day, but now women can only have 100 to make themselves heard. Not the end. For herself, her daughter, and every woman's silence, Jean will reclaim her voice. Amen to that. Very simple white and red. It would be good to set out for Valentine's Day, those colors. I've got these. Oh my god, I'm wrong with this one. Oh, there's even more in the box. I might have to cut this in two. Yep. Um, I found this book, Abundance Now 60 Ways to Experience True Abundance by Jesse Sands. I'm going to be able to get this off with these damn nails on. Oh, well, we're getting close. We're getting close, Sean. Okay, $7.99 in the U.S., $10.99 in Canada. It's a little paperback book. Um, I'll just... A bite-sized guide to help you find abundance right now. How much is enough? No matter how much we have or what we achieve, it seems like we can never have enough money, security, or, or enough wealth. Abundance now unlocks the true secrets of abundance, of not only having enough, but of being satisfied with it. The book is full of simple steps that will shift both your actions and your mindset, setting you on a path to banish what you want from life and replace it with wealth and contentment. Open this book to start transforming your life now. I should probably start reading that. I found these coloring books for the babies. Yes, they're too young for them. Do I care? No, because they're still going in their Easter baskets and they will be on stock. It is my first book of color. I got this one for Ronan with the car. It's by Benden. It's just very simple pictures, and it has the description, basket, balloons. I thought it was cute. So that one's for Ronan, and this one is for Zamara, with a little chicken on it. It's like oatmeal, a pig, teddy bear, castle. It's so stinking cute. This, I thought, would be good for when they get older. Scripps National Spelling Bee, Feed Me Words, Stories by Chris Hirschman, or by James K. Hendel. 40-plus bite-sized stories, quizzes, and puzzles to make spelling and word use fun. This went for $17.99 in the U.S. and $24.99 in Canada. There's the prices right there. I like that it's hardback. It's different. 
little things. The chef's utensils. The vowel frequency. Something to have for her or and him to read when they get older. And this I got, I think I got two of these. One for Peyton and one for Mark and Sierra. I'm not 100%. Yes, I did. Rage Against the Minivan. Learning to Parent Without Perfection by Kristen Howerton. This went for $26 in the U.S. and $35 in Canada. There you go. It's a hardback book. Let's see what it looks like without the dust ruffle. Black and silver. Will Peyton read this? Probably not. She'll probably ask me to read it to her because she despises reading. In the smart and subversely funny personal memoir, Kristen navigates the emotional and sometimes messy waters of motherhood and challenges the idea that there is a right way to raise your kids, recounting her successes, trials, mishaps, and hard-won wisdom. This mother of four advocates for letting go of the expectations, the unreachable standards, the guilt, and the endless race to be perfect, to be the perfect parent to the perfect child and the perfect family. Because there's no such thing. And it goes on. But that was just the first little paragraph. So, I picked up, like I said, one for Peyton, one for Marcus here. I found this makeup brush by Sassy and Chic. Love it. Purple and white. They had it in a teal and white as well. But purple, I just gravitate to more. Can she get it open, y'all? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. That's nice and soft. Super soft. Super nice. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I had to get that. This is not from Dollar Tree, but it was from Dollar General. It was a dollar. Personal care vapor cream, moisturizing cream, non greasy, soothing cream, easy to use, long lasting, three ounces for a dollar. I always have some type of vape or something around here because somebody's always getting sick. So, nice to have. Picked up these napkins in the spring fling. They are just the butterflies in all different colors. They're cute. You get 14. I don't use them for napkins. Excuse me. I use them for crafting. I got these rub-on transfers. They were new to me. They're on like that shipping paper type background it's all the, like flowers butterflies air balloons pizza it's all kinds of random images the fun one. so just picked that up i have the sneeze coming God oh, bless me. Excuse me. Oh, I got some cat toys for the cats. This one is a four pack um, of different like sauces. Um, I don't know if there's catnip in them or not. It doesn't say. I don't smell anything through it. But okay, this has like mild sauce, wait for it, hot sauce, feline fine, fuego sauce, nailed it, verde sauce. Check me out. So grab that for the cats. And then they had. This one for this is a four piece one, so you get three sushis. I don't I don't eat sushi, so I don't know what any of this is. And then a soy sauce. I know what soy sauce is, but these me. But let's try to play with. Even though oh here's another butterfly I was telling you all about. 50 cents. Even though Ronan is too young for these just yet, I still pick up stuff like this when I find it because it's cute. Um, these are the Tonka Wooden Toys. So this is a Decorate Your Own Bulldozer. And it's wooden. And then I got the Decorate Your Own Dump Truck. I also got the Decorate Your Own Ambulance. Is that it? Okay. There's more of the Queen Bee. I found some nails. I thought these were really pretty. These are by B Color Chrome Stiletto Nails. You get 12, so I got two packs just for sizing. This is what they look like. Aren't they pretty? That green, pat like turquoise, pastel, and pink and gold. Should be good for Easter, honestly. 
A pick, pack of my Can I have so many more holes in here? Oh my god. By Global Beauty, the Retinol Cleansing Cloths. You get 25 makeup remover cloths, basically. I like having these on hand. I might have to get those to Peyton. I also pick up these face and body wet wipes by Arm and Hanover. They're essentials with gentle baking soda and aloe under watermelon kiwi. It, this, these smell amazing. And Peyton likes to keep these on hand for Zamora, especially after she's like those little bit wafer biscuit cookie things. So I found the Playtex Baby 40% Zinc Oxide Maximum Strength Diaper Rash Cream. You get 2.5 ounces, dye free, paraben free. Falfate free fragrance, free quick effective relief, 2.5 ounces. So, give that a try. Even though we change her often enough, she doesn't really, but there are times she does. So, always good to have it, even to be preventative. I also picked up a little bottle of the Mod Podge Matte Water Based Glue and Sealer, two fluid ounces. This is nothing new, this is always there. And I picked up a bag of the Now and Later Jelly Beans. You get four ounces in the flavors apple, cherry, strawberry, watermelon, grape, and banana. The banana can go, but those. I've got a lot more books in here, y'all. And I was going to break this up, but I don't want to because I have enough to haul. So, like, to continue. So, I found this book. Uh, choose Wonder Over Worry. Move Beyond Fear and Doubt to Unlock Your Full Potential by Amber Ray. What Bernie Brown is to vulnerability, Amber Ray is to Wonder Mind Body Green. This is what it looks like. Pretty, pretty dust jacket. $25.99 in the U.S., $33.99 in Canada. Let's see what this looks like. It is a blue book with yellow writing. And the pink inside. From the powerhouse Mind Body Green Calls, the Brene Brown of Wonder, comes a book that will shift the way you relate to ourselves and our emotions and help us reach our full potential. Wonder is what we're born with. Worry is what we learn. Now is the time to return to wonder. Why do we hold back from pursuing what matters most? Why do we listen to the voice inside our head that tells us we're not good enough, smart enough, or talented enough? How can we move beyond the fear and doubt that prevents us from creating a life that reflects who we truly are? Choose Wonder Over Worry is your official invitation to face your fears, wake up to your truth, and get to the source of what's holding you back. Journey with inspirational speaker and artist Amber Rose as she connects with you with your voices of worry and wonder, teaches you to listen to your emotions rather than silence them, and encourages you to seize your dreams through a thoughtful blend of vulnerability, soulfulness, and science. Amber Ray guides you in expressing the fullness of who you are and the gifts you're here to give. You don't have to be held back by worry when wonder awaits your every moment of every day. So an inspirational book, basically. This isn't that other Rage Against the Minivan for the kiddos. I grabbed this book for my dad because it just looks like something he would like. John Wayne's Book of American Stories of Courage and Perseverance Throughout Our Nation's History. This went for sixteen oh eight at Walmart because it says so right there. But on the back here it says twenty two ninety nine in the U.S. and twenty nine ninety nine in Canada. Um, let's just see. John Wayne knew America was built on the struggles and triumphs of tenacious people who who will carry on in the face of incredible adversity forged in unparalleled cultural legacy and greatness, whether on screen or off, Duke sought to uh, highlight the hardships, sacrifices, and staggering circumstances these rugged individuals endured to form the backbone of our great nation, featuring 125 pioneers, leaders, trailblazers, and others from America's past and present. John Wayne's Book of American Grit celebrates the not indomitable spirit of gutsy everyday americans as well as cultural icons whose legacies i'm sorry whose legendary stories of courage and resilience despite all odds will inspire generations to come so 125 extraordinary stories of real life historical figures and hidden heroes true life tales and trivia sure to please any john wayne fan and more just grab that for my dad 
And I thought this book looked cute. We are almost done, y'all. We are almost done with this haul. Ooh, I'm already 30 minutes in. I usually try to cut them at 20 some minutes, but not tonight. Not to. I just bit my nail. Book went for eighteen dollars in the U.S., twenty three fifty in Canada, and eleven ninety nine euros in the U.K. Fashion, no, fictionally fabulous. The characters who created the looks we love. Anne Keenan Higgins. This is what it looks like. It's hardback. There's the prices way down here. Fictionally fabulous is a must read for anyone in love with fashion, film, and television. Welcome to a one of a kind tour of Horror of fashion history. Fictionally Fabulous is a tribute to the characters from film and television who changed the face of fashion from the flapper era embodied by Louise Brooks to Holly Golightly's immortal little black dress to scandalous Olivia Pope and all our favorite style stars in between. Each is showcased in gorgeous style by author and illustrator Anne Keenan Higgins with complete fashion profiles and glorious inspiration boards. I'm just going to flip through real quick. Oh, this is pretty cool. Very cool. And last, but certainly not least, Armour, How the French Talk About Love, Photographs and Stories, Stefania Rasoul. This book went for $25 in the U.S., $34 in Canada. There's the back. It's hardback. There's the front. Different stories with pictures of people in them. Like a good coffee table book, honestly. Uh, journalist and filmmaker Stefania found herself overwhelmed and dejected with the horrors of the news after covering terrorist attacks, human trafficking, and the rise of e extremism. To renew her faith in humanity, she took off on a solo road trip across France, determined to see if love still exists. Traveling from village to village, farming towns to industrial cities, heart to heart, Stefania sought out ordinary women and men, all to ask them one question, what is love? Collecting more than 90 personal testimonies, each one moving and beautiful in its own way alongside over 100 intimate photographs, Stefania reveals the many faucets of love and discovers that love can still be found even in the darkest of places, from a baker in Normandy to a shepherd in the Pyrenees, from a tree trimmer in Martin Martinique to a mail carrier in the Alps. Amour is a visual testament to love in all its many forms. thought that was cool. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. 33 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know which one of my finds was your favorite find. I will talk to you guys soon. You guys will see me in the same outfit for several hauls. Don't be alarmed. I do it all in one day when I can. All right. Love you all. See you soon. Bye.